Hi, this is Dana, and um, I will talk today in this video um, about couples again, uh, as requested by God, uh, but from a different perspective. And I will try to approach um, the importance of responsibility of each individual when they uh, try to create a couple. Responsibility towards um, self and towards the other, okay? And I will talk about uh, the impact and, and how a transfer of karma is being created in a couple, right? Um, because we are at the end of a situational karmic cycle and uh, there is um, high, um, I don't want to high, I don't want to say high chance, but um, there is a persistence of those who are um, receiving karma, negative karma, uh, to pay, so punishment, essentially, uh, there is a persistence uh, nowadays uh, to use all sorts of uh, modalities uh, and pra occult practices uh, to transfer their karma to uh, through um, couple. So uh, basically creating a couple with somebody who has positive karma in order to transfer their own karma. Essentially, they just want to get away. They just want to get away with murder. Uh, and this is uh, extremely important. So you understand, I've been talking many times about uh, the importance of not, of not giving undeserved forgiveness. Um, and I, I will try to get into details why and what consequences uh, would have. Um, I will start by uh, pointing out that um, spiritual fighting, since we are all called to do spiritual fighting in, in this stage of our ascension, I will point out that the Templars, which uh, were um, an example of uh, spiritual fighters, um, always pra uh, practice uh, celibacy and abstinence. Um, and I will try to, of course, we have to project that concept and uh, that timing to nowadays where we have, uh, we live today the consequences of cultural revolution and sexual revolution, which basically redefined, uh, redefined all terms of references in regards to um, couple creation and it um, brought to... Um, uh, our lives uh, much uh, freedom and different uh, definitions of what a couple should mean, how it should uh, be. Um, of course, uh, there were um, numerous instruments to um, create this brainwashing on people um, and mass media, entertainment uh, industry and so on play a huge role in that. Morality is totally different than it was during Templar's years, but Nonetheless, we face the same astral uh, norms as they did in their own time. So, um, essentially, uh, the karmic cycles uh, pertain of seven years, roughly. Yeah, um, and um, through union between men and women, and when I say union, I do not mean necessarily marriage. Through union, through even through a sexual contact. Yeah. Um, there is possibility to transfer uh, karma from uh, one to another okay so you take into you, you create strings between uh, the two of you which are beneficial for the one who is carrying negative karma if that person also have some occult knowledge how to transfer his karma then you're facing tough times to come um because um, what basically means to transfer the karma is that they get away with murder. They are not punished. They uh, create a string to you and they feed on you. So basically they, they transfer the punishments on you. You pay the ticket uh, for their freedom. Okay, That means you have consequences on your money, your income, your abundance, your relations with other people with in terms of couple. So you might not stay all seven years with that individual, but you still take on the karma even if you split with that person, okay? It doesn't mean that you, if you don't stay with that person, then uh, uh, that goes away. No, you still pay the karma even if you, uh, if you separate. Uh, and that will affect also your relations with future partners. It will affect your profession, your career, your standard of living, your income, as I said, your health. And here I mean physical health, but also spiritual health. It will lower your vibration. You'll get attachments from that person. Um, it can even lead to death. I'm sorry, I apologize. This is my dog who 
uh, decided to uh, drink some water just now. <laughs> um, so all of this happens to you. And I emphasize this. You do not have to stay with that person uh, for the entire karmic cycle. It's enough uh, to be together for a short time, maybe not even in a committed relation. If that person has enough knowledge uh, or um, determination to go pay someone who has knowledge to create all of these uh, transfers um, of karma to you. That means um, you get the karma of what he has done before you met him, uh, but you also take the karma of whatever he does afterwards since you, the two of you are connected until you actually succeed to break the bondage between the two of you. Um, and again, one karmic cycle uh, lasts for seven years, but this can, if you don't wake, wake up, and you don't do the work to um, uh, cut the ties and and uh, clean the uh, break the bondage and clean yourself, then um, you can leave many karmic cycles under the influence of that individual, and he can can keep transferring to you uh, his karma, not only from the past but also from whatever he decides to do in present and in the future. Okay. Um, so everybody that you meet, even if you want to create different relations, uh, you will be subjected to these um, uh, karmic ties that you have with that individual. That individual can um, use uh, uh, the ties uh, he has with you um, to work um, on your next uh, partner. So we, he uh, can create a fake embodiment through that individual and keep the connection with you on an energetic level, which affects your karma, obviously, um, or at least not your karma because it's not your actions and God knows this, but it creates a, a tie between you and him and he keeps transferring those to you. So even though it's unfair, unless you start uh, claiming justice, judgment and punishment and doing the spiritual fighting, God cannot stop it by himself. He's just going to give you hints. He's going to send like somebody like me telling you what to do. But if you don't do it, then you're going to keep paying for him. You and all those people that you uh, try to create a, a relation with. And this goes uh, to say, I'm, I'm here making a parenthesis and I'm, actually I'm talking about uh, all of the fake knowledge out there which keeps saying uh, you will receive only what you put out. This is not correct. You might be putting out good thoughts and good uh, actions and good deeds. But if you have uh, this sort of work done on you, uh, somebody on purpose is transferring karma on you, and you do not do spiritual fighting, no matter how much you try to uh, raise your vibration and how much you uh, try to be a good person and to uh, imagine, to manifest uh, positive people in your life, you will still receive the same pattern of men or in a woman uh, which uh, is transferring the karma to you. Okay, so it's not, it, it is not your fault. It's only your fault to the extent to which you, you do not do spiritual fighting to break that bondage. That's all your fault. But otherwise, nothing else is your fault because it's something done on purpose on you. Okay, uh, so this is, this is extremely important to understand uh, because we are now, as I said, at the end of a situational karmic cycle. And there is a high chance if you don't pay attention and you don't uh, fight for yourself, um, <clears throat> to uh, uh, allow, even without your intention, but uh, uh, a new karmic cycle to be opened with you by people uh, from past. And I am telling you, uh, they are doing their best at this point in time, because this is a punishment time for them. They are doing their best. They do not man up to it. They None of them, I, God didn't show me at least one single individual that uh, would have said, okay, I'm guilty, I will pay the karma, and then after I finish paying the karma, I will go and uh, create a couple with somebody. Um, I didn't, God didn't show me any uh, irresponsible individual that would uh, consider that it's his responsibility to clean up the karma he created before he goes to meet another person. All of them want to essentially just get away, basically. Um, and this is a pity because God is willing to work with each and every one of them to do redemption. And there are many ways in which they can um, succeed to pay the karma faster uh, if they do certain things. Uh, of course, that uh, requires them to work through it. But again, um, this is a, a decision making which um, they have to do. Um, and many of them, as I said, on purpose, they practice occult 
uh, practices, they uh, worship uh, different forces and they use different forces and they figure this is the way to go through life. <clears throat> now, um, I'm talking for those who are innocent here and uh, I'm trying to warn them uh, about dangers um, in having this kind of um, entanglement in your life because it will basically determine, it will literally determine how your life unfolds. Um, so, um, and I'm very much against, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm very much against uh, those who keep saying, you know, uh, it's enough to raise your vibration so you will manifest something beautiful. No, it's not. There are people who do this on purpose. There are people who make a living. There are mercenaries, gang stalking, targeted individuals, programs, and so on, which created an industry of uh, doing this thing for money. They do this for politicians uh, who want to have um, a clean aura and lots of strings to feed on others and to transfer their karma uh, on others. They do this for businessmen who want to have businesses, uh, flourishing businesses, and basically through uh, their actions, uh, they don't deserve it. So then they transfer karma on others. They do this um, in many, many, many ways. And, and I am here to say this because I know from my own experience, you know, I kept asking before I started my conscious spiritual fighting and God showed me all of this. I kept asking, I don't understand. I never done anything wrong in my life. I don't understand this. And uh, I don't understand the uh, prototype of individual that comes towards me. I keep rejecting them and they keep come towards me. And I don't understand why, because it's obviously a fundamental difference between what I seem I, uh, what I view as decent um, individual and what they are. So I don't understand why they keep harassing me in spite of my consistent rejection towards all of them, right? And and um, all of this has been um, revealed to me in time. Um, I wrote on my Facebook page uh, details about this, uh, but I, I just want to uh, point out at this point in time, since we're talking about couples, be aware of individuals, men and women, okay, um, who uh, essentially make a living out of transferring karma onto others for themselves and for others, okay, they get paid to do this. Um, people that on purpose, they come into your life to create a karmic cycle and to transfer specific karma onto you uh, many times just um, to steal your rights. Uh, and to use that uh, fake karma which they transfer on you, which is a bondage, not a karma, but they transfer it on you so it becomes a bondage. So to use that in order to steal your rights uh, and to have access to, uh, to, and to block your path so you do not achieve the purpose why you came here for. Um, and they do this on purpose, and I experienced this, and I, I said in the previous email, uh, um, video, I said uh, uh, clearly uh, God has shown me that, for example, the individual I have married, he was my high school sweetheart, I, he was the only man I met, and God showed me from the very beginning he was sent to you by the matrix with a mandate to create a relationship with you, to marry you, in order to steal your rights and to block you, because he can sign contracts on you uh, as being your husband, and he can uh, decide and give agreement uh, and consent uh, what to uh, be done on you. And for example, they can put, uh, there is a draconian implant and we will talk, there are so many ways in which they can achieve this on you. Um, and I will have sec separate uh, videos on this. <clears throat> but they, for example, they put a draconian Im energetic implant on you and hence you don't see uh, certain things uh, which are blocked for you. Uh, they even say in uh, in the secret societies they have when they do these contracts on people, they even say this then this person is sacrificed, is being enslaved to this and this person who will feed on them and will benefit of their rights. This individual is not allowed in astral to find out this hidden truth. Okay, and they create a password and code encoded uh, um, energetic bubble on that issue and you do not get to see it until you learn to uh, claim justice, judgment and punishment and to stop uh, giving undeserved forgiveness. So uh, this is out there. I'm not saying it's happening to everyone because then you uh, maybe uh, some of you would be suspicious, but I'm saying this is happening out there. This is part of the spiritual fight we are called to, uh, to carry. 
Um, and if you get into one of these entanglements with people who essentially do this as a profession, right? Um, uh, keep in mind that at least seven years, one karmic cycle, you'll have to pay for this. And you don't know even if you're going to be able in seven years to finish this. Um, God has been showing me, and from personal experience I know, that um, uh, it, it takes uh, many um, karmic cycles uh, because uh, they trick you uh, at the time, uh, near the time when the karmic cycle ends, they will send people into your life uh, specifically to trick you to enter in a new relation, which essentially is just renewing uh, the old bondage on you. And I'll give one example. Uh, as I said, um, uh, when I was uh, 16, 17 years, I started uh, the relationship with my former husband. We got married uh, in 1993. We divorced. We, we submitted the divorce in 2004 uh, at the end of the year, and we got official divorce in February 2005. And I finally broke the bondage only now at this situational karmic cycle. So since then, up until now, it has been a continuous repetition of multiple karmic cycles based on that bondage with that uh, jerk created on me when we were teenagers, okay? Um, it is also true, I have to say, that for a long time, um, we, I, uh, we, all of us, were in survival mode. So the spiritual fighting was not yet uh, being revealed um, fully because the uh, energy upgrades were not at the proper level. We are living in a different time, so maybe now it will become obvious to you more... Um, 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 faster uh, I am here and spreading this knowledge uh, from personal experience specifically because I found it deeply unfair that uh, even though I had divine guidance I didn't know about all this and, and I had to live my life with this jerk uh, feeding he actually made a living he created a new family in 2005 when we divorced he was already in a relationship and living in the same house with that woman for my more than a year at the time. Um, and, and, and he um, basically created a new family, stealing my rights since then up until now, when I broke uh, the bondage finally, right? So, um, I, and, and then you ask yourself, well, what's going on with my money? Why am I, uh, um, you know, a very good professional, but still, you know, the income doesn't fit and uh, even if I have income, then somehow I always have debt. And these are things which are totally related. So I'm sharing this knowledge for others, specifically so not uh, everybody would have to go through so many uh, karmic cycle until they finally get to break uh, the bondage. And I, I emphasize uh, here, I didn't speak with that individual in all these years. I didn't speak, I didn't text, I didn't meet, I didn't at all so i cut ties with him i personally cut strings with him and so uh, under no circumstances would i've ac accepted to talk to him because he stole my house when we divorced he did a number of horrible things to me uh, so i was under no circumstance willing to actually have any kind of discussion with him and still i'm not willing to have any discussion with him but he succeeded to perpetuate uh, that bondage on me through individuals, with new individuals which were sent to me in my life, uh, specifically to renew that bondage because I refused to have contact with him. <clears throat> so the only way to renew that bondage on me was uh, in order uh, recruiting new people and sending them into my life, which essentially gave them the opportunity to extend that um, karma onto me, which was a bondage, obviously. I was not supposed to pay for any of that None of it was with my uh, awareness. None of it was with my consent. None of it was with uh, me knowing about what he was doing, obviously. Um, so this is why I, I, uh, I am very keen on, um, on talking about these things because I know from experience what it means to pay for somebody else's um, choices, wrong choices in life. And this is not fair. This is not God's will. And the church teaches you that whatever happens, it means it's God's will and you should accept it. No, it's not. I'm here to tell you, no, it's not. 
And I can tell you confidently it's not because God himself told me this. And he taught me, God taught me to ask, uh, to claim justice, judgment, and punishment. Uh, and then he revealed to me why all of that was happening. And he showed literally to me, you just try it yourself, claim justice, judgment, and punishment before you uh, move uh, uh, from this end of situational karmic cycle. So you will see, because God will come and will show to you what is being done to you, uh, because this is the only way you can find out. Uh, and this is important. Uh, and I hope, um, although uh, the videos are short, I hope you get to understand uh, at least a general idea of what type of consequences um, you uh, take upon yourself. And especially if you have children, then your children will have to uh, go through the same thing as you. Um, and you, you and whoever is connected to you in whatever way, uh, you're connected, will go through the same um, traumatic experiences um, and unfair experiences. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop here because the video is already uh, long um, and it's uh, difficult to upload if it's longer than this. Um, I wish you all much wisdom, much, much light um, uh, to guide your uh, choices and to make sure that you uh, draw boundaries, uh, you uh, stand up for yourself and learn exactly what is being done uh, to you in your name um, and against you um, and uh, much um, determination and courage to fight uh, because I know from experience this is what it takes all the knowledge you need God will send your way either through people like me either he will come himself um, it's just a, a matter of determination and responsibility accountability um, uh, to, and, and determination to carry on the fight. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so we'll make sure that um, uh, the knowledge um, I um, share with you reaches as many people as possible. So we'll make sure that uh, at least those that are willing to put up the fight in order to stay with God and to achieve their purpose um, receive um, the information uh, so they can uh, start themselves researching and working with God. Thank you.